The friends of the Saskatoon Afforestation Areas would like to introduce you to a new program from Wild About Saskatoon called Pollinator Paradise YXE. Now what do you think of a 175,218 square meter allocation for a YXE pollinator paradise? More about this later. For an urban city like Saskatoon, planning to meet 1 million residents by 2063, it is wise to show environmental leadership. As is on the city of Saskatoon, strategic planning. Now then, the city of Saskatoon cannot do it alone. Our residents have to come to the forefront to help with pollinator garden planting in their own yards and community garden spaces. Wild about Saskatoon mentions that the first 50 people to certify that their backyard, garden, schoolyard is a pollinator paradise, they will receive a beautiful pollinator paradise YXE sign a retail value of $39.95 for free. How can you help? Share the Wild About Saskatoon Facebook posts and fill in the form regarding your own personal Pollinator Paradise certification. There is more information and YouTube videos on the website Pollinator Paradise YXE by Wild About Saskatoon. Now then a question. Should there be pollinator gardens planted in the two outforestation areas by making use of the utility right of ways? What would it mean? Checking out the row zones of the outforestation areas on Google Earth, there would be a potential for a whopping 141,536 square meters of pollinator gardens at Richard St. Bar Baker afforestation area, and that's not all. There would also be a potential for another 33,682 square meters of pollinator gardens at George Jenner Urban Regional Park. And it would mean invasive species would be much, much easier to keep in check and the cost of maintenance would go way way down and the numbers of pollinators would be greatly benefited by a total of 175,218 square meters of pollinator gardens. Well, part of this area could be food forests if low growing berry bushes were planted in the boundary zone of the right of way and pollinator gardens were planted in the wire zone of the right of ways. What do you think? Is 175,218 square meters of pollinator paradise something which would show good environmental and pollinator friendly management practices? Is it a good idea? The east side of Richard St. Barbaker Raft Forestation Area was closed to motorized vehicular traffic a few years ago. As a result, the number of native plants is exponentially increasing without motorized vehicles using the Urban Regional Park as a road, bringing in invasive plants from everywhere. There is starting to be a rebound with both an increase in the numbers of native plants and the numbers of native plant species. This is being seen without a pollinator garden management plan. This is just letting Mother Nature do the native flora plantings herself. Can you imagine how much the right of ways and the pollinator management would be benefited 
by best practices by managers and decision makers for pollinator friendly practices. Let us know what you think. Email us at friends at at gmail.com or find us on Facebook under Users of the St. Bar Baker Afforestation Area or Facebook under Friends Areas. Thank you. We look forward to hearing from you.